Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Idle Springs. Where, uh... I found something that must be the, uh, the next step. I'm just not sure what to do with it. Oh! Oh, dear. Yeah, you see the issue with height there. I don't think I could have made it to that either. I just don't know what I'm actually meant to do with that. There doesn't seem to be anywhere I can, you know, go. very frustrating to know that they're right fucking there, but I can't get them. And I mean really need to look into your employees' mental health. Fucking A. And what was with the waterfall? Fuck. The waterfall area being just through there, by the way. remember this part, but I don't remember needing any, uh... What are you pointing at over there, boy? As if he's Lassie or something. No, actually, wait, Lassie was a girl. think of it, isn't it the age of the remake? How has it been since the 90s since I've heard of anyone doing anything with a Lassie property? Ooh, doing very nice so far, but now there's still more... Oh. Still more goods and services to find. Launch! So it's two uh, yellows, I guess. to get clever, didn't you? Ah, yeah, it is still here. Good. Shout out to Miracle Tiger, who, uh... left a comment about how, uh... Gulp was an insurmountable boss when they were a kid. Uh, which is interesting to me, because I saw a thread the other day of uh, people saying, generally agreeing, that uh, Gulp was a pushover back in the day, and they made it much, much harder now. So I guess it all depends on your, uh, I mean, again, yeah, eye of the beholder and all that. But the reason I bring it up now is because I was reminded by what just happened here. 
because uh, there's a comment here. In defense of the missiles in this fight, I don't know why they're so big in the remaster. In the original, they were small, and you easily understood you had to spit them out. So that does make me feel a bit better. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm done here. Is this the end area? I guess next I'll head back to Scorch, as much as I was looking forward to never going there again. And, uh... Just murder all those trees, I guess. Count it up, boys! Damn it, now I want sausage. Okay, just use the menu this time because it's not a very happy place. No. Trees? Really? Okay, now we have a problem. Drop one the first time. Okay, maybe that's it then. I mean, you know, do you know one hundred percent things usually means burn the things in this uh, franchise, from my experience. But okay, no, no. Can't skip this cutscene. What a ridiculous-looking device. The actual weapon, a sling, is just like a piece of leather, like a strap. You put a rock in it, and you sling it. Even a sling shot is just a uh, handheld device. They just recolored those monkeys to make the ones that throw fruit at me in uh, the marsh level. Which again, wasn't really much of a marsh. These descriptors are weird. Like if anything, it kind of had an Australia vibe in that level. Oh. Oh right, yes, duh. They were in trees. Clearly. Okay, this one will drop a thing. This one will drop a monkey. And it didn't drop a thing when I hit it when the monkey wasn't in it, so that's not required. Did I get you? Yes. Oh, I'm here. Okay.
I saw that bush right there, and I thought for a moment that it was, uh... Maybe I got them all. That it was a tree hidden behind this section of wall. It's like, run into me, you fucker. I'm genuinely not sure how you were meant to get up there, but I don't think this was it. You get to explain your failing to Ripto. Oh. Alright, fine. You get to die. Man. Can't even make an example out of people anymore. I think I'm making a pretty good example of uh, why they're uh, making bad decisions with their lives. Amusingly enough, that's the only pot in the game that doesn't break when you... Uh, well, at least the ones that aren't made of metal. Okay, that's open. Are there trees in this room? Uh, no, that's just another bush. Bitchin'. Okay, then from there... Oh, land on idle. Fuck, I did miss that while I was there. Hmm. Arg, and I need to kill those guys to get through again. Land on idle. Where the fuck was I able to do that? Is it that one? Maybe that one. Spyro! The idols we were caught. Yes, yes, we were just here. Burn. You're right, that was rude. The workers can break the locks if they can get to the doors. Oh, thank you. I will treasure this knowledge like it was my own child. You know, I'm almost 100% certain I don't need to. But uh, whenever I find one of those guys using like, a human shield, I make a point of skewing the fire off to the side first. You know, so I don't incinerate the, the hostage. Off you go. No, you don't. Yes, you show that lock who's boss. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and assume that the fire in the eyes turned on when I solved the puzzle. that noise? Is that a 
that's part of the background or the ambience or something. This wow, 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 wow noise in the background. Oh, that'll be a rough one, but I think I can do that. Ah, piss drink. Well, they don't have to kill those guys again. Okay, I have made several attempts at this, and uh, none of them even came close. So I, uh... I looked up what I was doing wrong, and it turns out... It's not this idol head. Balls. I guess going backward wasn't what they had in mind. Not as dramatic, but fine, I'll just catch up. Okay, it's that idol head. Would explain this, where when you get over here, you're meant to double back that way to get, you know, to the spot I had been going to. There's this platform right here. It does look way more manageable. Booyah! First try! That's a nice change of pace. Alright, where else are we going? Oh, that's right. There was, uh... It was this one, I think, where I needed to save the guy's brothers. But I didn't have head bash at the time. trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Was there one of those here? What? Oh. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So I'll just follow you until you get where you're going, I guess. No, I got this. I don't need to talk to you and have you tutorialize at me. You know, the fact that the kid is so specific makes me wonder if they, if the testers had real trouble with this level. Off you go.
You know, I was thinking about the, uh... You know, the observation I made. You know, some people thought that the original gulp was way too hard. Some people thought it was way too easy. Some people thought that the updated version in, uh, Reignited was, uh, much easier. Some people thought it was much harder. Okay, and I, I'll just eye of the Beholder stuff. So I was curious, and I looked into it, and... No, no, no one likes treetops. Everyone hates treetops in the first game. <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. No wonder people are afraid of dragons. Well, evil people, anyway. Uh oh. Embarrassing. How delightful. I don't even normally have a projectile attack. In you go. A horrible death for you and another orb for me. Well, another spirit orb, anyway. Oh, that's right. Yes, he wanted me to shoot it. Determined to figure it out without talking to the guy. Or rather, to remember it without talking to the guy. It'd be funny if there was a chance of him just going, Oh, that one had a worm in it. Could you find another one? I mean, it's a wild fruit. They're not all great. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. Let's see, I need to... Well, I need to find those uh, peacocks, for one. Sorry! Oh, right, I did that the first time. That's just painted on. My bad. Shame Spyro can't eat them. Where the fuck is the other guy? Yeah, that's the guy with a quest I already did. I didn't think that would work. I don't know if it's actually accurate or not, but the way I've read it is that the closer to Spyro he is, oh. uh, that Sparks is, the, uh, the further away... You're not a gem. I'm a fool. The further away the, uh, the actual gem he's pointing at is. Sometimes he hovers right next to Spyro, sometimes he pushes himself about five feet away. And it really does look like a purple gem from this distance. That's why the, the flappy tail. Who builds stairs like this? Oh, right there, but I can't do anything about that yet. I guess I'll just have to find the guy from, uh...
that last quest on the next episode of Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Reignited. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Later.